about 15 years ago I started sketching on what became the Jumeirah in the end. Um, at that time we did not have access to the kind of development tools we have today uh, or the engine or propulsion technology that really enabled the Jumeirah to have this amazing package where, where it truly looks like a mid-engine sports car that it is. It's very compact, um, very dynamic, but still you can fit four two-meter persons in this car and four carry-on luggage sets. That is absolutely unheard of with this form factor. Um, it is really a, a, a dream that is fulfilled for me uh, and I have to pinch myself when I look at the end result. It looks even better than my wildest dreams actually. And the performance of this machine is truly out of this world. We're talking zero to 100 kilometers per hour in under two seconds. Uh, we're talking zero to 200 under five seconds and it keeps on going on like that up until over 400 kilometers per hour. In the end we will see how fast it is but it, the numbers are just staggering. The technology in this car is also otherworldly in many ways. We have a newly developed Koenigsegg engine which we call the tiny friendly giant. A three cylinder a two-liter three-cylinder with two turbos and free valve technology that can run on completely renewable fuels. Um, in combination with electric propulsion, this car can be as environmentally conscious or benign as a pure electric car, um, especially if you run it on pure alcohols and if you also get your electricity from renewable sources. Uh, the advantage of having this more complex drivetrain than just pure electric uh, are several. Um, we can have a much smaller battery pack, which means we can have more interior space. Um, but the, the small battery pack uh, means we save a lot of weight because the TFG engine only weighs 70 kilos. And that is nothing compared to the size of battery pack that we save, even including things like exhaust system and fuel tank. Um, we have four-wheel drive torque vectoring. On the rear it's pure electric, on the front it is the combustion engine with an electrical motor driving through a carbon fiber tube a prop shaft to the front axle. And there we have developed a torque vectoring uh, differential. So rear wheel torque vectoring, front wheel torque vectoring. And front wheel steering and rear wheel steering. Plus adaptable shock absorbers and uh, ride height on the chassis. So, it has the most dynamic chassis of any car known to me until this date. Which means you can set it up to be an autobahn locomotive, just straight as an arrow, super safe, relaxed at high speed. Or it can be super agile around a racetrack. So it is really the idea to, to kind of eat the cake and keep the cake at the same time, avoiding compromise.